Don't let hackers snooping on your phone or laptop. This is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be opening a travel internet router which I have it right here. If this is your first time or repeat visit on this hybrid channel I'm always trying you in different ideas. If you're into thinking outside the box and explore beyond boundaries this is the channel for you. If you're looking for more internet tips and tricks videos there will be links in the description box below. So when you travel, if you're using a hotel Wi-Fi or anywhere an open Wi-Fi, uh, this is kind of you're giving one step uh, ahead uh, the hackers to snoop on your phone or laptop because they're already on the network. So it's it makes you know hacking much easier. So that's where a travel internet or travel uh, router comes in handy, which I have it right here. So this is a small device which works as a router in between. Uh, the internet you're getting from your let's say hotel or cafe and uh, it works as a, a separate layer of protection so you're basically your devices for example a cell phone laptop and everything connected to this router and you're connecting this router to the source uh, internet provider which is either from the hotel or you know Starbucks or Tim Hortons so hackers are not going to be able to be on the same network because your network is actually coming from this router not directly from the hotel uh, network so today I have a brand called Barrel and uh, this is not a paid or affiliated review all my reviews are non affiliated unbiased and honest no one paid me anything I purchased this with my own money so I'm going to you know try this out and see how easy or difficult to set this up and I'm going to connect it to my own internet and then you know then I'm going to connect my uh, cell phone to this router and see you know whether this is user friendly or not so the box looks like this and this is a very uh, nice looking box as you can see and there's some information uh, right here for example open WRT I'm not sure what is this and then there's uh, you know uh, one gig port so you have dual brand Wi-Fi. So this is a good thing. It can broadcast in you know, two separate uh, Wi-Fi uh, bands. And then there's 512 gig uh, maximum micro SD. It, ha it has a micro SD card uh, slot, which is, uh, I think it's gonna be somewhere right here. We're going to take a look at it. And then it has encryption, so which makes hacker difficult to break into your network. And then it has you know all the cables connection you need and it has even tar protection so basically uh, what I understood by reading the description uh, that you know you can run uh, VPN if you are subscribed to any paid VPN so you can basically you know run that uh, via this uh, router but I don't uh, have any VPN so I'm not going to be testing that and uh, this is the router itself um, it's very lightweight and uh, you know it's very uh, compact and then this is the power adapter so what I noticed that uh, the kind of like you know you kind of uh, uh, fix this to the uh, power adapter first so you kind of press here and then you just match the slots so for example if you just uh, do it this way it took me a while to do it for the first time so once you do it you're going to get used to it so let me just you know try it again open and lock so if you put it like this and you have to kind of twist it a little bit to close and you have to twist it back to open so now it's locked and they have uh, provided Ethernet cable and then there's like you know small uh, brochure right here uh, let's get started so I'm going to be following these instructions right here. So there are two elements of it. So first thing you have to, you know, uh, connect the router to your internet provider or to the hotel internet provider, which is the first thing you're going to be doing. And after that, 
you can get uh, internet from this router either via wireless cable or ethernet cable which is right here and or via wireless connection so i'm going to be uh, testing both of them so let's uh, remove the antenna or okay so looks like it goes like this so now i'm going to have to connect this to a power source so before i do that let me just uh, open this cable a little bit okay so this is actually USB-C uh, which is a good thing so what you have to do you're going to connect this to the router USB-C right here uh, which is right here so you're going to connect this and then I'm going to put it into a power source which I have it down here so let's do that okay so the power source is on and you can see that you know it got connected you can see the light so what I'm going to do let's just uh, look at the instructions here so you have to set up uh, your router by going to this web address which is right here and I have a uh, computer right here so I'm just going to you know uh, go to that uh, website on the computer and we'll see what happens here uh, I'm taking a different approach I might be wrong so instead of trying this one first let me go through this and this and see if it works so it mentions that to check this internet right here so this is where you have to uh, connect with your browser so I'm just going to see you know if I can get that internet from my laptop and then if I'm able to connect that okay so it's showing all the available networks here and let's see if we can get the connection from here so it looks like I do have what they were saying so I'm just going to click on it and there's a password they provided uh, which is the default password so I'm just going to you know uh, enter that password uh, right so actually it's working so what happened here that you know I was wrong thinking I have to set this up first so you have to just go through it, you know as mentioned on the router or the manual so I'm just going to see what happens here so here we have English and just I'm going to click on next and then it's asking to set up the password because you know uh, I logged in here using default password so I'm just going to set up a new password okay so I'm going to click submit okay so it looks like we set up our new password and then it's asking to save the password which I'm going to just you know save it now here you can see that it's giving the instructions to set it up so I'm just going to set up wireless first which I have it uh, right here and no internet connection find find new networks to connect so I have to just you know connect to a new network and let's see what we have here so when I clicked on internet actually I don't have to click wireless I have to click on internet then I'm going to click on repeater so I believe this is how you connect from your own router or let's say hotel router so I'm just going to connect click here and then basically it's scanning for all the Wi-Fi so this is what you do if you're at a hotel or you know at a cafeteria so I, sh I believe it should uh, scan or detect my own Wi-Fi and looks like it did so what I'm going to see I'm going to just see if it has my Wi-Fi here and let's see what do we have here okay so it does have my Wi-Fi so I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to enter 
the password so basically this is you know going to be your hotel uh, password or internet cafe password but some of them may not have password so let's uh, just enter the password okay so i'm just going to save this one as well and looks like it's connected because i can see here that you know the connection button so i'm just going to go to wireless here and i think i should be able to connect now via my phone so let's you know take a look at my phone so on my phone i was able to you know get the network from the internet uh, or from the travel router and the first thing i'm going to do before connecting to the router i'm just going to do a speed test on my phone uh, which is still correct uh, you know connected directly to the my own router okay so you can see that i have very good speed almost uh, passing almost half gigabyte per second so let's just wait to finish and then we are going to connect it to the travel router and see how much it reduces this okay so you can see the results right here so 476 320 so now let's just go back here and we are going to connect to this router you can see that it's significantly lowered the speed uh, it's only 50 and 45 right now so 50 download and 45 so right now it's connected via the travel router so it uh, you know lowered but here you can see that it shows fiber stream that's my internet provider so although it's connecting getting internet from the main internet provider but because it's routing through the router the internet speed is much lower so i don't think i need to actually do another testing connecting via uh, cable uh, because this works fine and connecting directly uh, to the source uh, router or source uh, internet uh, you know outlet uh, via cable is going to be much easier but when you do that so what's going to happen that you have to uh, go to internet and then you are going to the cable and then here you're going to uh, see the error message let me just bring this closer here you're going to see the message and then you have to just like you know connect your device to the router the same way now what I noticed uh, something here that you can actually uh, let's take a look here so if you click on wireless then it's giving you the option to uh, change your password and other information and then if you go to clients then it has the capability to see uh, you can actually see real time that how many people are logging onto your network and I believe this one uh, this router can give you access to many devices I'm not sure about it, the exact number but I think you can have 40 devices connected at the same time and then here you can actually set up a firewall but I, I'm not going to do it right now and then if you'd like to connect it to VPN then here you have to just click on the VPN panel and then it's going to give you the option to you know what type of VPN you want but you have to subscribe uh, to uh, VPN if you are connecting anything and then here we have more settings where you can change admin password LAN ID and other stuff so it seems to be working and I have a feeling that if you connect you know directly connecting to the internet source then definitely your uh, speed is going to be much uh, better but so far it works fine and i'm happy with the product so i purchased this about 400 dollars canadian uh, i didn't see them going on sale uh, anytime uh, or, or as long as i've been keeping an eye on this item so again this is not a paid or affiliated review so i'm happy with the product and definitely i'm going to be carrying this from now on whenever i travel because you know you don't have to go to a hotel and set up all your devices so what do you do when you go to the hotel you just set up this device uh, to the internet and then all your like you know other phones and laptops you can connect right away because you already connected in the past and you have the internet password saved so it's going to be a much easier experience to connect to internet when you are traveling 
So if you'd like to watch my next internet tips and tricks video, there's going to be a link on the screen. See you in the next video. Right here.